Hi guys, it's Marianne, the Frugal Chef. Why don't we make a shrimp bisque? You know, this is very easy to make. It's so, so elegant and super delicious. It's a great thing to serve during the holidays um, or eat any cold day, really. <laughs> Let's make this. I have a pound of shrimp um, peels in here. I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil to this. And I'm just going to saute these for a little bit. I want them to turn pink. And we will get our stuff going here. Now I'm going to add four cups of water to this. A small celery stalk with leaves. A small white onion, which I just quartered. Oh, three garlic cloves, which I cut into pieces. And a small carrot, which I just quartered. Okay, I'm going to bring this to a simmer and I'm going to let this simmer for about 45 minutes. And we're going to use this as part of our um, liquid for our bisque. Alright, this cooked for about 45 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. I'm going to strain this. And I want to have about uh, four cups of, uh, of stock. So if I don't have enough, I'm just going to top it off with some water. All right, we got three cups of beautiful concentrated shrimp stock. So as I said, I'm just gonna add another cup of water and leave that aside. I have a couple tablespoons of olive oil heating here. I'm just gonna put in two leeks, which I cut only to the light green part and I washed thoroughly. You need to soak the leek after you've cut it and separate all the layers and you know rinse it out about four times so that you get all that dirt out. We're going to cook this uh, for a good 10 minutes until it's all nice and softened. We don't want to brown it, but we do want to soften the leek. Our leeks are ready. They browned a little bit. I told you not to do that. And then I go answer the phone, and when I come back, they're a little brown. So, no worries. <laughs> I'm going to add four large garlic cloves, which I minced. I'm going to cook this, you know, just for a minute. I want to smell it. I'm going to add a pound of shrimp, which I deveined and, uh, of course, peeled. And a quarter cup of sherry. Now we're going to cook this for a minute or two. Now I'm going to add a quarter cup of dry white wine. And we're going to let this cook for... I don't know, maybe three more minutes. We want the shrimp to cook through and get nice and pink for us. Guys, this is ready. I turned off the heat. I let it cool down a bit. I'm gonna put this in the food processor. And I'm gonna process it, not until it's super creamy and silky. I wanna puree it, but I do want some, you know, to have some little chunks of, of uh, shrimp in it. This is how I want you to process it. If you don't have a food processor, you're gonna have, you can use your blender, just. Make sure you don't blend it to a, you know, to a fine pulp there. We want little pieces in there, as I said. So I have four tablespoons of butter that I'm going to melt in here. I'm going to add four tablespoons of flour to this. I'll start whisking this. We're making a roux. Don't worry about it. You know, if it gets a little lumpy, that's fine. The lumps will go away once you add your liquid. We're going to cook this for a couple minutes until the flour is nice and cooked through. I'm going to add a cup of milk to this. And you know, you can use whole milk if you want. You can use, I'm using 1%. And a cup of cream. And this is whipping cream. You know, heavy cream. Uh, you can also use two cups of half and half if you would like. All right, now we're going to whisk this until it thickens and we don't want any lumps in there. This is beautiful, nice and silky white sauce. All right, now that this is thickened, I'm going to add our shrimp stock to this. I 
I'm going to add our processed shrimp to this. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of tomato paste. And that was a heaping tablespoon of tomato paste. So let's mix this in there. All right, I'm gonna season this with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna taste it, see if I need to adjust the salt. And guys, I'm not gonna boil this, I'm just gonna heat it through until it's nice and hot and then we'll serve it. This stuff is good. Mmm. All right, this is nice and hot. I don't want it to boil because I don't want the cream to curdle on me. So let's serve it. You know, I was just thinking, we could have made this with some chipotle. Oh yes, that would have been awesome. <laughs> All right, we'll make that another day. This is an awesome, awesome soup. Perfect for entertaining or any time, any cool day. Wonderful. Let's serve it. I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of chopped parsley just for color. Wait, it looks prettier. This recipe will be on the website waiting for you guys to come and print it. Make sure you check out all the other wonderful soups we have. We have a lot, a lot of soups. Eat well, my friends, without going broke. I'm going to see you guys soon.